I know that I'm gonna get down to his freaking arm and he's gonna be wailing it like crazy because he's a butthole. What is up? What is up? What is up? Welcome to the Willy Bobo Life. Here, um, I'm Will, yours truly, just making a fool of myself as always, and uh, we're playing Shadow of the Colossus, the epic playthrough in my opinion, because we got everything unlocked and all that jazz. If you guys don't want to hear the intro, because sometimes these things are like two minutes long, then uh, skip ahead about 30 to, to a minute and a half. Um, yeah, but all I'm going to say is we're playing with um, all the unlockable items. Uh, I'll go for, I'll, in the traveling to the 15th Colossus, we'll go ahead and uh, explain those, but we are playing with all the unlockable items, we are playing on hard mode, it's new game plus, so we have everything, we're, we're maxed out on stamina and grip, so everything's just easy and breezy, um, we deal maximum damage, we're gonna kill them quick, it's Colossus number 15, we got one more left after this, we're gonna rock this shit. And, uh, yeah, so if you guys want to want to join me on this little quick journey, then let's get this under control. As always, I will be taking the face cam off during important cutscenes and the Colossus reveal and the kill kill him. Um, I've been trying my best to do all that, at least. And, uh, yeah, so let's just have fun. Cutscene's coming. Kill, uh, the camera's coming off real quick, and I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, welcome back. <laughs> Anyways, oh man, say so since as promised, if you guys are curious, because you guys are new um, or returning, whatever you guys, if you guys are returning, you know the drill. But if you guys are new, this information's for you. I am rocking the white Argo skin for the horse. Uh, I'm rocking the cursed Wander skin for for Wander. I am rocking the sword of Dorman. Um, and I'm rocking the Mask of Power, the Cloak of Force, and the uh, Cloth of Desperation, which is the Parachute. All these things pretty much add up to a one-hit kill and look cool doing it. So that's that's this playthrough so far. Um, I'm having a real fun time. Um, and uh, yeah, this playthrough is just going to be going after the Sentry, Colossus number 15. Things I would say that I like about this game, though, so far, as this is basically my definitive playthrough, my last one, um, sadly to say. Uh, and the only reason why it's my last one is because it's my platinum playthrough. Uh, if you guys have, if you guys are new, then you guys uh, don't know this, but uh, I have one trophy left to this game. Um, I haven't been saying this every video, so even if you're old, you guys and skipped a couple of. Colossus. Uh, I, I have one platinum or trophy to get platinum on this game on PS4. I'm playing with PS4. Um, this is actually being played on a PS4 Pro. But uh, and that is to eat the poison fruit. That's the last trophy I have, and I'm going to be doing that to next video. Next Colossus, right before that, I'm gonna show you guys how to climb the tower and um, all the tips and stuff you need to do to do that. Uh, all the stuff I would recommend you getting. Um, I will say it takes you roughly about seven, six and a half playthroughs. Because this is my seventh playthrough of the game right now. But I'm ha I, I halfway through it. By the time I beat Colossus 8, I had the trophy for the max out your Wonder Bars. I will say, though, this, this is the true fact. One of those playthroughs, you have to eat all the fruit you can find and all the white-tailed lizards. You have to do it. Or else you're probably going to be spending maybe 10 playthroughs of the game 
getting his stamina and health bar all the way maxed out. So you have to do that. Um, it's a long process. I'm not going to lie. One of your playthroughs is probably going to be every bit of like 10, 15 hours just because of the fact that uh, um, you're going to be traveling across the whole map, shooting all the lizards, hunting them all down, getting all the fruit, collecting all that, shooting all those fruit down and all that stuff. It's, it's a really long process. It takes a, it takes a while. But... We are here. That quick. Yeah. That that quick. Um so with all that said though, epic playthrough. Got all the cool stuff going down. Gonna pull out the Sword of Dorman. Oh uh, one thing I will say though that about the Sword of Dorman is you have the Sword of the Sun which actually like can uh can cast the light even from uh dark carrises. Anywhere you use this sword it it <laughs> turns the whole screen dark. And then you just see this black beam. So that's 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 the weird thing about the Sword of Dorman. But it's an awesome sword. I love it. Well, yeah. This guy's a bit of a pain in the butt. He's got a, a marker on his back. He's got a marker on his hand. You can't get to the marker on his hand without hitting a weak spot on the back of his arm. And he's got a marker on his head. Um, there's really no good way to speed run this for the time trial. Uh, because it, it just depends on how quickly you can get him to react to you and uh, kick up one of... Um, one of those platforms. Right there. And uh, I do have everything unlocked. I have the harpoon, the queen's sword, the explosive arrows, whistling arrows, all the other cloaks, all the other masks. I, I've completed all the time trials. So this is like no no joke to you guys. This is the definitive freaking playthrough, man. Like you know how they they make jokes on like the definitive edition of a video game. It's just basically like all the DLC and a small little like HD upgrade filter or something like that. Yeah. That's what this, I mean, this is just my playthrough. It's everything unlocked, so I don't have to do any more. I'm just playing through it, killing all the bosses in one or two hits. And this is the Colossus Reel, so sorry. Here we go. And there we go. That's Colossus Reveal. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Whistling does a lot of good work. If you have the explosive arrows and he's not paying attention to you, wait till he gets right about here and then shoot him with one. Like. Like so. There he goes. Now he's gonna be like, You shot me? And then they're like, Yeah, I shot you. And jump. Okay, cool. And jump again. Get up there. Now here's the annoying part. No, you have to make him knock down all the supporting moves on the second floor. So. And for me. I'm gonna take the easy route, piss him off. Usually only one arrow, it, it takes one arrow to do it, but I just, it's a kill time. Just do it. Stop using the cloak or the cloth. Funny little Easter egg. If you guys didn't see my uh, very first, the first Colossus video, um, I actually pointed out the fact that there is a, and I mean like legitimate, there is a, um, what the hell is he trying to do? 
There, there's a legitimate uh, Easter egg because the cloth of desperation can be seen blowing away because it's what you actually had your girlfriend wrapped in when you took a broader here. Uh, was the cloth of desperation, and then you end up unlocking it as a parachute later. But it blows away in the beginning cutscene as you're laying her on the thing and listening to the listening to Dorman in the sky. Oh, but yeah, I pointed out it's actually pretty funny. It's really funny actually, but you know. Oh sh isn't it? Okay. Sort of Dorman, let's get this shit down. He's gonna come, we're gonna jump. We're gonna take out his back first. Actually, no, no, we're not. Take out his head first. One shot, one hit. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, sorry. His actual... It's not on his back. It's on his chest. Man, that's gonna suck. I thought it was on his back, but you just saw it right there. It's on his chest. And there really is no easy way to get down to his hand until uh, I do something later. So we have to do this all in one setting, which is really quite easy. As long as you get past the fact that he flails you for like 20 minutes straight. Stop flailing me. Stop flailing me, stop flailing me. They do this because, again, it, I, I've been talking about this through, kind of throughout the series. There's certain monsters that do this constantly because they expect that to take longer to, to, to hurt them. This is one of them that they, they wanted you to, like, take a little bit on. And if you, if you time your light goes right, you could just, you know knock him out pretty quickly I don't really plan on letting this guy kick my butt though so I'm just going to wait till he gives me the split second to do it gotta get a little bit further up on him and stab what the no that's not that wasn't supposed to happen and stab there we go I was like, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so. Oh my god! Oh no, buddy. You're not, you're not beating me. know how you quickly get your stamina back you just hang out on the top of this dude when he when he flails you just do that this is actually how you do the speed run too you do when you're doing the speed run you don't want to fall off him pretty much at all because it will cost you a ton of time so you kind of want to just wait with him to to do that We almost have enough to uh, to do his hand, but I'm just kind of waiting a little bit longer. I'm not trying to add more time to this video, believe me. I want this fight done as soon as I can, but I know that I'm going to get down to his freaking arm and he's going to be wailing it like crazy because he's a butthole. He's a massive butthole. There you go. I haven't let go. I'm still on him. Okay, wait for it. If you drop right now, you're going to fall off. So you got to wait for him just to be a little bit stiller. So 
Just wait, just wait. We have enough. There we go. Work your way around. Work your way around. Now, um, what you want to do here is drop. Work your way around. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt. All right, now now you just do that. Grab onto his fur and his hands. There you go. Now you're in his hands. And now he's gonna be like, "What's going on here?" He's gonna try to shake you off. I might actually fail this, but I'm gonna try not to. And hold up, one more, one more flail. He's gonna do. You're gonna hear the the beeping. And kill cam. There you guys go. Defeated. Alrighty, so I'm back. That was Colossus number 15. Number 16 is the last one, and uh, this video is a little around 20 minutes. I think it's gonna trim up a little bit, um, but not by much. Uh, they are gonna get a little longer because obviously the battles get more crazy. But the 16 is gonna be the big, big Mac Daddy. I'm gonna show you guys a lot of items you guys can use. I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the top of the thing. So I do apologize for the next one, the last one being the longest, but hey, the content's what it is. It takes as long as it takes to make it. I'm going to do my best in editing to chop it all up. But that was Colossus number 15. I'm really happy that we were able to beat that dude, um, take him out. I'm also really happy that I could show you the uh, process of which you want to do it in your, you know, your time attacks and stuff, because that's really how you do it. That's literally how you do it in time attack. At least hard mode time attack. Um... Yeah, you in time attack, you're probably going to fall off like twice. Just try to make sure that when you do get back on him, that you go directly to him or you try to jump onto him closest to so you don't use, lose as much stamina as possible. Because like I said, the game was originally designed to that for your first time ever playing through the game, you were going to fall off constantly because they, they, the, certain enemies were designed to wiggle way more than others. Um, and that's just that's what, that's what stressed so many people out about the game originally. Um, and that was just intentional mechanics, to be quite honest. But, with all that, if you guys liked this playthrough, if you guys liked the definitive playthrough of the game, then please give me a thumbs up down below. It's, it's greatly appreciated. It helps the algorithm get me out there to more people who might appreciate the gameplay more, just like you guys, and uh, just like me. And I just, I want to share, you know, I want to share the content with y'all. You guys are awesome people. I love the gaming community. Everybody in the gaming community rocks from, from men to women. Um, boys to girls you know female to males uh, all you guys are awesome keep playing games and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments to ask me about what I'm doing on the channel what my goal is overall and stuff please leave it down in the comment section if you want to talk about side of the Colossus let's talk again what's your favorite Colossus 
which which one did you like to see me uh, did you like uh, watching me defeat um, you know or have you played Shadow Colossus at all if you haven't why not uh, those are the questions I'd like to talk about and stuff with you guys uh, after all that's said and done if you guys are still considering or haven't done so yet already please hit that subscribe button it does a lot more then just add me to your subscription list. It helps out the channel, it helps people find me more, um, and all that jazz. And when you're done doing that, don't forget to take the second to hit the bell notification so you guys can be notified about all the other content videos. There's only one more Colossus left after this. Um, down below you can probably see uh, your the previous number 14 Colossus, and you'll also be able to see the playlist that you can click on. If you haven't seen all of the Colossus fights, you can just click on the playlist and fat and you know choose which one you uh you want to watch and uh yeah so i just hope that you guys enjoy all the content i'm making and i'll see you guys in the next one here on the willy bobo life peace out y'all